We have commenced the beautiful month of Ramadan this year, 1442 Hijri 2021. My brothers and sisters, this is the first Jumu'ah, the first Friday. If you notice, time flies. I recall very clearly last year, Ramadan, where we had a lot of restrictions. What was very, very difficult was for us not being able to attend the house of Allah and not being able to fulfill in a way that we wanted to fulfill the month of Ramadan. But that was the decision of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the owner of everything. If you take a look, we as believers always believe in a silver lining. Indeed, with hardship there is ease. And with the same hardship, there is another point of ease. So with every hardship, there are actually two points of ease. It might have been different, but it gave us an opportunity to fulfill our prayers at home. Many of us, after the lockdown was over in our countries, we didn't do that as much as we did before or during the lockdown. It gave us time to spend with our family members. How many of us do that on an ordinary day? It gave us time to spend with our children and it made us reflect and perhaps help a little bit here and there areas where we did not used to help. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us useful at all times. That having been said, it got us into a different routine. We thank Allah that we've come out of it and we thank Allah for the lessons that we learnt. But now that we're back in the masajid, my beloved brothers, my sisters, make the most of this. You don't know how long you're going to live. Many of our friends, our relatives have passed on. Those we know, those we don't know. I could be next, you could be next, no one knows. That's one thing we all definitely learned from this pandemic is you never know when death can overtake and who it would overtake. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to prepare. So how do we prepare? We prepare primarily by making use of all the opportunities Allah has given us to earn closeness to Him. Look at this month of Ramadan. Prior to Ramadan, there is a sunnah dua that I'm sure many of us used to say, Allahumma balighna Ramadan. O oh Allah, grant us the acceptance to witness the month of Ramadan. Now we're in Ramadan. What was the big deal of that dua if we are not doing anything different this month?